Okay, guys, I'm back. All right, so for my first um demo with you guys, I'm going to do uh, I'm going to do almond milk. Okay, for my first demo, and I do prefer yes. Sometimes I don't, but I just want you guys to see what exactly it is that I'm doing. Okay, one of um, the little tips that I can offer you is when you do almond milk, um, if you have a Brita, I have two. I have two Britas. I have this one, and then I have this one. So what I do is um, once it's empty, <laughs> and my family emptied it out, so perfect for me to do this today so I didn't have to waste the water. Um, is I remove, I usually remove this, okay, and then I just use this container by itself for my, um, to make my nut milk, okay, my almond milk, and you will see in a moment why it is that I prefer to do that. Actually, this is wrong, I did it wrong. I knew it was something that I was doing wrong there. Yeah, because it won't fit there. So I have to take the. See, I did it differently the last time. Let's see. Oh, no, it does fit. Okay. I did it like that. Okay. So, anyway, this is what I do. Okay. So that I can have a container to hold my milk. And. Let's get started, okay? First of all, with almond milk, anybody who knows about making almond milk knows that all you need is about a handful of almonds, okay? And I like a nice big handful. A handful of almonds, um, the blue diamond, whole natural almonds, and you can soak them overnight or not makes them easier to break down but I'm going to show you that now a lot of people they like to soak them but my almond milk comes out just fine even if I don't soak them but sometimes I do soak them if I remember um sometimes I don't and this time I didn't remember so there you go okay so I'm going to take my bread of water and pour For me, depending on the consistency that you want, I use two and a half cups of water. Because that's the consistency that I like. Um, I really like my milk to be kind of um, thick. Actually, I only used three cups this time because it was like super, super thick the last time. And I do believe in saving and stretching. Um, the other thing that I'm going to do, actually I'm going to have to make more almond milk than I was because I forgot to add ice. So the other thing that you do is a handful and a half, okay? And so the other thing that you do is that you have to add ice. And the reason is because when, as we make, um, these different recipes inside of the um, the blenders, whether you're using um, you know, Vitamix or whatever, you want to use ice. Normally I have the ice ready and I put it in there before. I'm going to show you why. You use the ice water um, with the almond milk because it's going to make it hot and you don't want it to take the nutrients out of your milk, okay? So that is why you use the ice. Normally I would put the ice at the bottom and then put the um, um, some water on top. But it's going to come out just fine like this as well, okay? So here we go. And I may cut out the sound because these things are loud, just like the vitamins. And so I'm going to start it on 6, I'll say 5. And we're just going to need no more than two minutes, but normally I don't need all of that. 
Here we go. You guys should really, really try it. It's awesome. Um, thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned because I have so much more to show you um, with my new, um, well, my 30 day old um, Montel Williams Health Master. Thank you for watching. Um, I am Slim by Faith and stay tuned.